Yo, what's going on guys? It's Dex. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm just going to quickly be showing you guys how to change the dashboard on your RGH or JTAG console. And it's going to be pretty easy. I'm going to have all the downloads in the description below. They're all going to be in a Google Drive. You can just go in, download them, and then follow these simple steps. Alright, so basically, first off, I'm just going to be showing you guys what the dashboards look like. So you're going to want to go over to the XEX menu. You're going to want to bust that open. And honestly, it's a pretty simple setup. Once you're in the XCX menu, you're just going to want to go to Homebrew, go to Dash Launch, Installer, and then run the default XCX. And then once you're in here, you go to Paths. And then once you're in here, you're just going to want to go to Default. You're going to go to HDD. And you'll see your Dashboards folder. Once you're in there, you can select any of the dashboards you want. I'm going to show you guys what all of them look like here. So we'll just go with NXE first and then once you do that you're just going to want to come over here and save it I usually save it like a good three four five times make sure it's all good and then you're just backing out and then boom here's the first one the NXE it's got all the old community welcome spotlight my xbox marketplace video marketplace music marketplace got all the different tabs in here And then next up, I'm going to show you guys my personal favorite, which is the Blades dashboard. It's just super clean. Alright, so same thing. Homebrew, Dash Launch, Installer, Default. Once you're in here, Paths, Default. Same thing, HDD. Navigate to your dashboards. Throw on Blades. Go over and save again, save a couple times, back out of it. Alright, so Blades does tend to have a little freezing problem, so as long as you're okay with your game freezing once in a while, then go for it. But I use Blades, it's the one that I run default, I always have it on, and I'm sure everybody knows what the Blades dashboard looks like. And then just navigate back into the XCX menu. And then I'm going to show you guys what the last one looks like here. Same thing, homebrew, dash launch, installer, default. Same thing for all of them. Paths, clear it out of there. Navigate to dashboards. They're on the 13604. Boom, boom. Save a couple more times. B to go back. All right, now we're just booting back up. And here we are. So now that you guys have seen the three dashboards, let's show you guys how to actually get them installed and get running them. So you'll see down in the description, I have a Google Drive link that has everything you need. It's got the Xbox 360 neighborhood, which you're going to need to connect to your Xbox, and then it's going to have all the dashboards. So once you have those downloaded, you could go in, you could open up neighborhood. Here's my JTAG here. And then you're just going to go into the HDD. And it's quite simple. All you're going to do really is just come in here to the 360 dashboards. And then you're going to grab this dashboards folder here. You're going to open it up. You're going to make a new one on your desktop named dashboards. You're going to copy and paste them all in there. And then you just drag and drop it into the HDD here. And then you're good to go. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys need any sort of help doing any of this, uh, I'll leave my Twitter and my Discord in the description below. You guys could add me, hit me up on there, and I'll be sure to help you guys out. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.